breaking. Gunmen invade emo communities, abduct traditional rulers and youth leader. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. It was learned that a gunman also burns the palaces and vehicles of the traditional rulers. Are you serious? Just what, what, what was I just saying? What was I just saying just now? Sincerely, I don't know. It is like just as you are just saying, ah, this government, you don't know when it will get to a point where we're going to listen to bad news. It is like the bad news are following themselves one after the other. As you are screaming, it is telling you the one you screamed before it is just small. Gone men. I keep asking myself, if me as a person, for instance, I send you to a place to make sure there is peace in that community, to, uh, to peace keep, to make sure that peace and sanity returns to that community. Then I start hearing rumors about what I sent you to do is doubling. There used to be trouble in this city, but when you get there, things go for the worse. What would I do? I'm going to call you back, ask you what's the problem. You that are seeing things happening, what is the cause? Except I did not send you to peace keep. Except I did not send you to peace keep, but to cause more trauma. These people, they have choking security operatives. When I say choking, if you have been to the southeast region, if you've been listening to the news, you don't even need to be there. If you listen to how this place is choked, even they are even calling for the government to even reduce people, security operatives over there. And yet, people are dying in the north. They are saying there is not, there is not enough personnel on ground. And yet, this place, people are there. Security operatives are there. And gunmen are making life unbearable for people. It can only mean one thing. I won't say it. It can only mean one thing. Let's listen to the news in detail. Unknown gunmen on Sunday morning attacked some communities in Imo State, kidnapping two traditional rulers in the process. It was learned that a gunman also burned the palaces and vehicles of the traditional rulers. The traditional rulers kidnapped by the assailants were identified as Paul Obu of Inhite Inhube and Acho Ndukwe of Amagu Inhube, both from the Okigwe local government area of the state. Sahara reports has also gathered that among those kidnapped was the youth leader of Umulolo Okigwe. In the Umulolo Okigwe, the gunmen also attacked the country home of a community leader, identified as Fabian Mosu. The house was also vandalized during the operation that lasted between 12 midnight and 1 a.m. on Sunday. A source told Sahara reporters that one of the kidnapped traditional rulers, Ezea Chotundukwe, is the chairman of a council of traditional rulers in Okigwe local government area of the state. He is also the CEO of Genesis Hotel in Okigwe, the source said. Last Thursday, the traditional ruler of Atta Kingdom in the Injaba local government area, Edwin Azike, was kidnapped. His corpse was found at the market square on Friday morning. The traditional ruler of Umbutu Asian Kingdom, Damian Wigwe, was also kidnapped last Thursday. He was, however, released two days later. Michael Abatam, police spokesperson in the state, said an investigation into the incident had begun. This thing is war. If you ask me, people know about this thing. There is nothing you will tell me that I will believe. Tell me why this thing that happened, why is there a succession? Why is there a succession in this thing? Is it not supposed that, okay, this, part, this thing is taking a particular order. People are being killed. People are being kidnapped. Is it not a sign that, like, these people drop signs, whatever they go. We are going to come here next. It is, it is just for the security operators to come out and make sure that those signs... They read them and take action on it. Why, why is it recurring? Why is there a recurrence? Sincerely, and yet, the security operatives are everywhere. They are spread out in the southeast region. And see if, you know, these people now, they see if what is happening in the north is happening there. When meanwhile, not even one quarter of what is happening in the north is happening in this environment. What is going on? What are they not telling us? What are we not saying? That Ihube area has farmer versus herdsmen issues for a while, and there have been repeated kidnapping by herdsmen in that area as well. So it is too early to point fingers at anyone with time. 
the truth will surely be out. I pray that with time will not mean more people will die. I just pray that with time will not mean that more people will end up dying. It must stay the royal empire. After the storm comes the calmness. I just pray that the calmness come when people have not yet finished. Sincerely. Sincerely, it is very, it is very like, it is very, very scary. It is getting scary. IPOP ESN. Okay. This Buhari administration will get to everybody. It is not like, like they said, it is not yet time. It is too early to point fingers, but at its word. It is not too early to launch into, like to start very, very strict investigations into this matter. Things are really happening in Nemo State, and this must be the handwork of Nigeria DSS. It is well, Lou. Sincerely, sincerely, I proclaim peace in Nemo State. Sincerely. Once upon a time, Nemo State and the Southeast region in general used to be a place where if you want to cool your head, if you have stress for the year now, this is the period where you want to go, you go there, even before all the festive things kick off, you have a very, like, you cool your head. Unfortunately, there is now the state where all these things are happening, where people will now be scared of coming back. Loved ones coming back, they'll tell them, look at what is going on, and they say, ha, are you sure I'm going to come back? Are you sure? What is going on? Is this looking like, is this a sign for us not to come back? I mean, they should allow peace reign. Sincerely, they should allow peace reign. The perpetrators of this thing should allow peace to reign for crying out loud. Sincerely. The same story every day. The same story every day. The more you look, the less you see. And you begin to wonder, do we have leadership in this country? Both at state level and at the center. You begin to ask yourself, what are they doing exactly? They are just rigmaroling, moving around circles. Tomorrow again, we'll hear another one. This is not a matter of a God forbid. Though. Before our very eyes, all of these things are happening. What can one do? What can one do? It's so, so unfortunate. And they will be telling you that we are doing this, we are doing that. Just as Buari is always saying that they will get to the root of this whole thing. No wonder somebody was mocking him the other day. All the problems that we have on ground. He has not been able to solve one. And he promising to get the perpetrators of of a Sylvester. You know, anybody that hears him now, you think that you there's a kind of hope. No hope or nothing is going to happen. Nobody saying that uh, that uh, incident is not a serious one. It's a serious one. But since he promised that he's going to do X, Y, Z, is he going to do it? 